Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. On this channel, we cut through the hype and the noise, and we give you the non-biased information you can use to hopefully capitalize on the biggest opportunity in history, and that is this current bull run. Now, I'm going to talk to you about Manta, and guys, you want to stick around for this video, because these young projects that are coming out are absolutely amazing and with the adoption and the tech and the, the fact that they haven't experienced a bull run this project and a lot of new projects like it are the ones that i think everyone should at least take a look at if you want bigger returns so go ahead and hit that like button and let's dive into manta now manta is kind of complex to follow when I did my deep dive, it is very complex. You have a parachain layer one that was built on top of uh, Polkadot. And then it's also teamed up and built out a layer two for Ethereum on Celestia. And due to the technology, you basically have all that combined and it goes between like optimism and zk rollups now don't hold me to all to explain to you how the tech works but i know this when i was doing my deep dive every couple of minutes it was like wow that's impressive wow that's impressive and when you talk to any of the developers this project has a lot of hype and that's what you want. What I'm looking for, guys, are new projects that haven't experienced a bull run that comes out of the gate pretty hard with a lot of ad adoption and hype. And that's what this project has. So go to manta.network, surf around, look at the tech. This project is really, really uh, impressive. And one thing I'm seeing in my deep dives is that these new projects are kind of putting together everything that, say, some of the older projects, the blue chips that we love, the other layer ones, what they needed. So now you have these new developers, or sometimes it's a lot of the older developers built a team, which is in this case that are creating projects that are absolutely off the chart. Now, I'm not going to dive into any more of the tech. Go surf around, check it out. Look at its ecosystem, guys. It launched with over 150 projects being built, and it just launched. And check this out. This is what I like to see. When you go to its X account, it's got 703 thousand followers over seven hundred thousand followers guys that is huge and it already has 1.5 billion total value locked they call it the fastest l2 out there and i'm telling you guys this is the real deal and when you look at the team and the founders they're all world. They're as good as it gets. The speed, the tech, the adoption, and the hype, and the fact that it has an experienced bull run. Guys, you got to take a look at this project. Now, also, we're about to look at the uh, chart, but I want to tell you one thing about like Celestia and some of these new projects. There's a lot of airdrops so people are starting to farm these airdrops and that's something you want to think about now i don't want to get off track but i'm going to build a i'm going to do a video about those airdrops and additional ways that you can capitalize that you may not be able to have capitalized on some of the older projects now that doesn't mean the older projects are not going to do well i own a lot of older projects like HBAR, which I absolutely love, still extremely bullish, Quant, Link, a lot of them. But I was stacking those in the bear market. 
So if you are new to crypto and you haven't really built out your portfolio, in my opinion, you want to look at projects like Manta. Now, when you go take a look at the chart, I mean, it just launched. And what I love about these new projects, yeah, that's a good little pump. But when you go back and compare like, say, XRP or Matic or uh, Solana or any of those projects, ApeCoin, they launched and they did huge gains. And then you got dumped on because it was all that VC money. Well, I guess because of regulation and just the new trend, guys, we don't get dumped on like that. And yes, maybe we didn't get in at the very, very early stages, but this project is brand new and we're not starting, you know, behind the eight ball like we would have been in the last bull run with, say, Solana and, and Matic and projects like that, even though... If you would have bought after the launch of any of those projects, you would have been extremely happy. Now, here's what I think is going to happen, and I hope I'm right. I'm not going to run out and start stacking Manta today. I'm going to let the dust settle. But one thing that we have is a huge airdrop. So hopefully those people will go ahead and sell out of Manta and the price would go down. I don't know. Maybe they won't. I'll be honest. I wouldn't sell my airdrop. I would hold it for at least a year. And let this bull run really get going. But that's just me. But a lot of people get that free money. And they'll start dumping. Now when you combine that to where we are right now with Bitcoin. We could easily wake up. And Bitcoin is making a new low for the year maybe it gets down to 37.5 36 maybe even goes to 32 which would be extremely bullish and healthy for the long-term bull run but my guess is when you add the airdrop and the newness and people taking profits and bitcoin pulling back man that should give us an end to start stacking manta so that's my personal game plan now if you know a month from now it just never looked back kind of like caspa did for many many months well then i'll go to plan b but that's what my plan is right now but anyway guys check this out and this is a great tool to use across the board because you know one thing we get in crypto is that hyped up price predictions that are just going to lure you in, get you all FOMO'd up, and get you wrecked. Well, this project or, or this website and this tool, Market Cap of, allows you to have realistic comparisons of other projects. Now, they are saying that this may be the best layer two for Ethereum, right? And again, there, don't forget, because a lot of people are going to say he doesn't know what he's talking about, but there's Manta Pacific and Manta Atlantic. And so they're basically, it's like two new projects linked together. Anyway, I believe that realistically we can compare Manta to what Polygon did in the last bull run. Well, if you look at where matic is now and i have no doubt that with the founders and the team and the adoption and everything behind manta it could easily easily get to where matic is now i mean matic's been beat down just like a lot of the projects have been this year well that would give you a 8x if you bought today and it's been pumping all day now if you look at where matic went in its all-time high which i have no doubt that manta can get to that price point of where Man uh, polygon went in 2021 that's a 23x so to me that's probably your downside somewhere in the middle say a 15 to 17x for M manta Unless there's, you know, something that we don't know about and 
this is not financial advice, but this is the probabilities. Realistically, from right here today, if you started stacking Manta, the odds are you're probably looking at a minimum, say 17x. But if it can get to Polygon's all-time high, which I think it can, that'd give you a 23x. But I think it's the probability is somewhere between Maddox all-time high and where Maddox goes in this bull run because I believe it's going to Polygon will be changing gears when it takes out its old all-time high. So realistically, I believe a price prediction for Manta would be maybe a 27x something like that. Now, I would be surprised if it got any bigger than that. But, here's the thing, guys. That's from it pumping today without any pullback. And I believe and I hope that we get a pullback. So, if we get a you know, 10 20% pullback, that'll get Manta, my price prediction for Manta, up more like a 30x. Anyway, guys. In my opinion, when you compare Manta to some of the older uh, blue chips, its downside, like minimum, is the maximum for some of those projects because it still has low market cap, has a lot of hype, like I said, great adoption, great team behind it. Guys, this project could do really, really well. Anyway, I know I'm rambling on. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But guys, go take a look at Manta. Again, I personally am not going to dive into it and start stacking right now. I'm going to let it calm down a little bit and see where it goes. Now, it could just run away from us. Hey, won't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time. Won't be the last. But go take a look at it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit that like button, guys. It helps us out a lot. We can get the news out about Manta. And either way, come back and be part of this community. Take care.